But this guy, this oh. guy is not making, he's not using things that we don't know about. Not complicated systems like lasers. He just, he just takes a single, a photon. Here you go, Al. This is, this is, this is great commentary. Okay. There's a kind of quantum system that is, we're talking about light. There's a kind of kind of light mm -hmm. that is unnatural, that doesn't exist in nature, but we can make plenty of this. Hmm. And these things are called Fox states. Fox? Called what? Fox states. F-O-C-K. It's some Russian who, 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 who came up with this first. And these are states in a single mode that have definite numbers of photons, like five photons in a single mode. But then he's going in a single direction or down a single optical fiber. Five hmm. photons. Hmm. That's an unnatural act. What's a natural act? That's a a natural act is, is, to, is to have a light wave that has an uncertain number of photons. Like, average of five, but, you know, sometimes four, sometimes three, sometimes six. Not, sometimes it's five. never exactly. Five. No, 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 that's unnatural. Like, all this light here, this is all in different modes. It's going in all different directions. But you would, if you would have a filter that would take only one direction of this light, you would find that it, it is in, it is, and this is what's called thermal mode. It's, it's caused by the heat of the sun. It's all over the place, right? Yeah, it's all so. over the place, but, yeah. but, but no one mode of this light has, has a particular number of photons. The photon number is not an eigenvalue. But isn't this more like lasers then? Where there's a specific... Lasers don't have that either. Lasers are what are called coherent states, and they don't have single photon numbers either. Uh, they have they have a very precise frequency, but their photon number is undecided. They're called coherent states. The coherent state is well defined, it's a, but it doesn't have photon number. The photon number is not an eigenvalue. So what he does is he mixes clock states with coherent states in a clever way, hmm. and, and destroys a measurement that could have been made by amb ambiguing it with a with a coherent state. You could make the measurements only because these things are five states, because they have definite photon numbers, and you're measuring the photon number. But you can destroy that measure without actually, you know, unmeasuring it by mixing in coherent states, which have no definite photon number. And that's what he does. He claims that he can destroy a measurement that could have been made, but now it's not made because of this uncertainty of photon number. And then the other entangled photon will reflect this by doing something that it never had been able to do before because it was locked into this particular photon number. Anyway, it's 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 no. a it's a clever thing. And it's and it's all done with stuff we know how to do. Well